Hey there friends, Frugal Green Girl again. In today's video I have a couple of suggestions to how to how to naturally clean our friend here. Um, the toilet, the loo, the john, whatever you want to call it. Um, it definitely needs a good uh, cleaning and disinfecting once in a while and so many people turn to like bleach and things like that but that has a really harsh you know um, this to it when you're cleaning you got to be really careful about getting it on your clothes and your skin and there's really harmful vapors in there so a nice natural cleaner is a good alternative and it can be done there are lots of different um, you know recipes out there but here's my recipe to help get it done the first portion of the recipe um, for just a basic cleaning on the, the toilet here would be my normal scrubbing powder which I gave in the other video I take my normal scrubbing powder and with the sprinkle side of the um, cleaner, I just sprinkle it around in the bowl. And then the pouring side, I pour a little bit down into the basin of the water. The next thing I do is I spray some full strength vinegar. I just took a regular vinegar bottle here and added a spray to, sprayer to the top because I had an extra one. But just take some regular full strength distilled white vinegar and spray it around in the bowl and then again in the water. And if you remember from the scrubbing powder video, this has baking soda in it. So when you spray the vinegar onto it, it kind of starts this fizzing action to it. So while it's doing that, I usually just do something else. Um, maybe just clean the bathroom or just go the rest of the bathroom, you know, sweep, whatever. Just do something else for a little while and kind of let it sit there and do its thing for a few minutes. And then after maybe five minutes or whatever, um, you can come back and I just take, or my husband, whoever's doing this, um, take the scrub brush and just, you know, give it a quick swish and everything flushes right down and it looks nice and white and pretty and everything's disinfected. The vinegar and the borax are going to help disinfect the toilet and then the uh, baking soda has a nice uh, deodorizing property to it, which this thing could obviously use. Um, in my scrubbing powder, I also give an optional ingredient for tea tree oil, which I do like to use. Tea tree oil is very inexpensive, and it's very effective at helping to add an additional disinfecting property to it. I mean, it has a nice, you know, fresh, clean scent, so after we're done cleaning it, it does have a nice, clean scent to it. So that's the, the regimen that I use for just a regular, ordinary um, toilet cleaning. But if there's a toilet that's maybe gotten out of hand a little bit, like say we have two restrooms, we have another one in the basement that doesn't get used as often, so we don't tend to clean it as often. But toilets that aren't used you know, regularly, sometimes they'll get a little ring or whatever around the inside. So if you have a toilet that's maybe gotten stained or is a little bit worse, you know, or has that ring around it, then the second recipe that I have um, a suggestion for you is just to throw a whole cup of uh, up to a whole cup of borax right into the water and then add a whole cup of vinegar to the water also and then let that set overnight um, and then in the morning you know sometimes it's worked so well that just a quick flush will just get rid of that whole stain and you don't even have to do anything to it other times you might have to scrub just a little bit but usually having both of those together in the toilet water overnight is enough to help you know eliminate that stain depending on how bad it is it might take a time or two of using it if it's a really bad one but for the most part between these two cleaners pretty much every one that I've had to do has been you know effectively cleaned with them so cleaning and disinfecting our toilet is not only something we do for aesthetics and you know so our company that we have over doesn't look down on us but it's also important to disinfect it because every single time we flush it um, the, the toilet water spinning around and going down in the hole actually ejects, you know, bacteria and viruses out and into the air. So disinfecting it is important to keep, you know, all those things, you know, from getting into the air to the point where it's going to maybe cause other people to get sick if we have somebody in the family that's, you know, sick or whatnot. So um, these are my... Uh, two suggestions for different cleaners and I hope you found it helpful. If you missed any of the other videos in the series with the homemade house cleaning products, if you want to keep it clean and keep it green, then feel free to check that out. I do have those all posted um, and I'm in the middle of the series so there'll be some um, upcoming other exciting videos on other um, all-natural cleaning products. So I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.